But here you go, and everyone, Josh the Collector Guy. Hope you all had an awesome week yet again this week, ladies and gentlemen, as, as I always say. Hope you had a little bit of a hunt here and there this week, whether you found some Holy Grail pieces, a super treasure hunt, or even you just got some really cool stuff off eBay. Hope you all had an awesome week, everyone. Well, this is my lot of finds for the week, everyone. Got lots of great vintage Hot Wheels and other assorted stuff to share with you all. Stuff off my man, mate. Stuff from eBay, which is pretty much half the stuff in the video, and also some stuff from the flea market. But first up, we'll get to this guy here I keep forgetting to show. Well, a couple of weeks ago or so now, went to Toy World over here in Australia, which is a toy shop. Gee, who would have thought being the name Toy World would be a toy shop? Had a well, sort of went and had a look at their Hot Wheels, and I caught. This little Toyota caught my eye, and I thought, oh yeah, that that's a, that can be a super treasure hunt. So I casually looked through the Hot Wheels up the top, then just came back down to the Toyota, and I thought, hey, wait a minute, that's a super treasure hunt. How could I have missed that? Probably my second super for a very long time. I did find the Harley Davidson a couple of months ago, so I'm, I'm happy to find it on the pegs if I... Well, I'd rather wait and find them on the pegs, because that's where you're going to get them cheaper instead of going on eBay and paying 40 bucks for some of them, which I think is a bit outrageous. But anyway, really happy to have one. Well, another Super in the collection anyway. Pretty cool looking car, the old AE86. Quite popular popular in the drifting, I believe. So, pretty little nimble car, I reckon it is. Love the Spectra Flame Red, and the wheels are pretty good too. So, I was pretty happy to find one on the pegs, because I rarely find any of the Supers, to be honest. But hey, it doesn't bother me. Really glad to add that one to the collection. Nice, not something different to find on the pegs than the usual new Hot Wheels. What can we get to next? Well, flea market stuff. Went to the flea market with Dad. Had lots of fun. Found some pretty cool stuff. Let's start off with the little Tonka here. Yes, it is a Tonka. And made in the good old USA, which I was pretty surprised at. I thought I'd better get that. And I think Dad kind of wanted it as well. So I'll probably give it to him after this. Pretty cool looking plastic metal base but still look Tonka. Tonkas are pretty tough I imagine. Well they do say Tonka tough so that one was pretty cool. Another little Solier. I think I've already got this one. Pretty heavy model as well. That's really really cool. Don't mind tracking a few of them down and probably one of my favorite finds from the flea market this week has to be the old steering rig trailer. Now I didn't even pay two dollars for this so I got it for an absolute steal. I was kind of surprised I got it for that that cheap, considering how how much some of them go for on eBay and what the steering rigs are and that, because everyone seems to go after them because they do seem pretty popular. It's pretty much all complete except for except for the rubber at the back of the wheels there isn't there, and also well the steering part still there, and I rarely see that on a lot of them. I know a couple of them I found at my diecast meeting here at here here and there at swap meets they. Seem to be always missing that, but that was a pretty cool find for the day. And what's a trucking company without a whole heap of trailers? Because I seem to find a whole heap of loose ones, especially the GMC trucks. So that'll go nicely. I do like finding the steering rigs, and no matter what condition, I love picking them up. Let's get to Mr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Next was glad to find. Um, well, actually glad to buy two of them, um, the same car, so I could open one. But unfortunately. I, I bought the um, National Guard ones off the seller, but the seller sent me instead the Kelly Blue Book ones, but contacted the seller and she reckons they're on their way, so you deal with a lot of good sellers on eBay, which is really good to see. Well, I know I do anyway, but I know there aren't some best ones on eBay I've heard and I've also dealt with, but anyway, like the Kelly Blue Book design looks really nice. I love the National Guard colours of his and Dale Jr. is the best, but I don't think they're sponsoring him anymore, but I know the nationwide um, insurance paint scheme on his Chevrolet SS looks really awesome, so I'm looking forward to the start of the 2015 NASCAR season. Really well presented model, I reckon it was well worth the price I paid, because there's just so much detail with all the sponsorship and all the colouring, and that looks really nice and Dean had to get a boxed one too, and also, it comes with a little collector's box you can put it in. It's got its little display, so that one's real, real cool. The old little Tommy Pocket Cars, my first ever carded Tomeka, would you believe it? The little Isuzu High Pack. 
really cool looking little van I reckon really nice indeed I do adore my Isuzu trucks vans or whatever Isuzu have made even the Gemini which is a Holden over here in Australia they had something to do with that made in Japan printed in Japan that's what you want to see on the old Tamikas even though I love all the Tamikas they do such a good job on their cars the detail and even some of the odd vehicles they come out with it they're really cool so really awesome to have a carded one in the collection now I think we'll get to the steering rigs next was lucky enough to get two carded ones from eBay and they were also were in my last video which was shown during the week got the um, Kenworth and one I've been after for a very 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 long time the old GMC General really nice artwork on the card big old Peterbilt everyone's getting excited they're all screaming out around here in the neighborhood the old one there you can they actually come with stickers so you can decorate your truck which is real nice a lot different to the what the um, steering rigs were, what came with the trailer and the packaging and that I don't think they ever had stickers at all whereas the single carded ones did and in my own personal opinion the single carded ones see a little bit more harder to find in in my own personal opinion well in my experience anyway the old stickers on the GMC look pretty good and I think it kind of resembles the smoking the bandit GMC General out of Smoking the Bandit too, but been after the GMC General carded for a long time because I got that many of them loose and I think there was three engine options for the old GMC General back when they came out I think it was Caterpillar, Detroit Diesel and Cummins so I don't think well I think no matter what you choose you you had an awesome power plant especially in the Cummins so really glad to have some carded ones and hope I can display that on my vintage Hot Wheels General Motors shelf somewhere because it's that full now we'll get to the stuff off my man mate went to see him last week and also this week and scored some pretty awesome stuff off off him got some carded hot ones here the cards aren't in the best shape but the blister's still good and everything and i'm surprised that this blister is still in good condition and still attached to the card because it looks like it's been wet but anyway i'm not going to open it I, don't, I can't bring myself to open vintage hot wheels got the old chevy Sartation. Don't mind the old little Chevy Sartations at all, and the mighty 67 Camaro on the back. And speaking of smoking in the Bandit, here's the old Hot Bird. Really nice indeed, love that paint scheme, love that car, really cool. Love the old black. Nice card art too, on the old Hot One, such bright, it just draws you in. The old parking plates, now the old Chevy Blazer. Haven't been able to track this one down. Luckily, my man mate had it. And steering, I mean, yeah, steering ring still on my mind. The parking plates and especially the Chevy Blazer seems to be a little bit harder to find and probably most sought after by us collectors. Well, especially me anyway, loving my General Motors stuff. Quite an array of cars they have in the series, which is really awesome. Really want to get my hands on that byway, man, though. Definitely want to track that down. There's some pretty rare ones in the lot, especially the byway, man. And I think a couple of, them, couple of them come with quite hard to find variations as well. Really cool set there. Lots of really nice cars. Whether it be American, European, you name it. They're, they're all pretty much there. Really nice set. And this one seems to have international riding on it as well. Or as I probably always like saying, French Canadian, don't I? Really awesome to score that. I reckon I got a good deal on all of them from my mad mate. Couple of loose ones now. The old 20th anniversary um, Monster Vet came in the um, three pack they did. You got an exclusive um, 20th anniversary vehicle and I think two other basic cars with it as well. There's quite a few cars in the set. I think the Corvette might come out in gold. And I think there's a window vari variation or a interior variation. There's a, lots of other cars as well. They come with different chrome or gold chrome or just normal chrome. So really nice love my monster vets don't have too many of them in the collection and the little Pontiac Fiero I do like the Fieros I don't think I've got this one loose in the collection I got two carded really cool looking car I remember when I was going to I think it was the Auto Spectacular here in Queensland here in Australia it was on the way to which is at Willow Bank Raceway every every year I remember passing one of the Pontiac Fieros, it's such a cool looking car in my opinion, really nice little sports car, so really glad to have a loose one in the collection now. 
Yes, got another buy away man off my mad mate. This one was the one in my collection previously. Has the toolbox variation and unpunched as well. And the one I bought off him just yesterday doesn't have the toolboxes in the back. So I think I'm pretty close or, or I have all of the variations pretty much of the buy away man. With the grey hub or the white hub real rider. So I'm pretty proud of that. Love the Byway Mans, no matter what they were, the Byway Man, the Power Plow, Super Scraper, Pavement Pound, I always try and collect them all and get every single variation I can. Such an awesome, awesome truck, such an awesome casting, and quite sad it's no longer produ produced in my opinion, because it's something what would brighten up some of the Hot Wheels line today, I reckon, in my opinion, something like that. Live 55, another one of my favourite cars to collect on the Oldies But Goodies card with the patch redemption on the back, as you can see. And I, in my opinion, I don't think there would be too many of them around at all because, well, I think every kid back then would have handed their parents saying, oh, I want the patches, so they would have cut up a Hot Wheel card, opened the car up and everything and sent it away and got a patch. And I know those patches do go for a little bit of money now and again. I love my Alive 55s, I love my Nomads, if you can't tell, and the Minions are doing a good job guarding them. Love the Chrome also, different variation came out, I mean the Alive 55 in this paint variation did come out with an opening bonnet and red lines, and I think maybe an opening bonnet and black walls, but I'm pretty sure it was just opening bonnet and red lines, but anyway, really awesome, glad I could have this one carded in the collection, the blisters a bit got a few cracks here and there but it's still awesome to me I'll still leave a car and she looks so much better carded in my opinion but everyone does what they want they open it they open it they don't they don't everyone has different ways of displaying stuff in their own collections and something I've been after as well for a very long time the old Hot Wheels Railroad the old Banjo Flats Rio Denver and Rio Grande Western I love the Rio Grande Railroad I remember when I was a kid, I had a little Micro Machines Rio Grande locomotive. Always used to play with it, and I still have it to this day in one of my boxes. As you can see, lot, lots of different um, trains in the in the well gift packs as well. The Santa Fe chassis system, Burlington Northern Rio Grande. And I do believe there was an Amtrak, and there I think there is a steam locomotive as well in the Hot Wheels Railroad, but I think they're a lot harder to find. Denver and Rio Grande Western, or Rio Grande, was, a, I think, um, founded in 1870, can you believe? And I think in 1988, I think they might have sold the Rio Grande over to um, Southern Pacific. And then I think a couple of years later or so, they merged with Union Pacific. And Union Pacific, I think a couple of years ago, I think in 2008, they did make um, heritage, unit, the heritage units for the... Rio Grande and also a couple of other railroads as well. Really nice presented locomotives. Probably some of my favourite locomotives in the Union Pacific fleet. Really had to get this though off my Mad Mail. I do love the all black and the orange riding. How tough does that look in the old Rio Grande locomotive? And I've never seen these two before anyway. The, the Rio Grande caboose and the Penzoil tank are really awesome. Glad to get that off my man, mate. And quite hard to find on eBay, in my opinion, and quite expensive as well. Got another one of these awesome collector's cases with... I love this artwork. The old Pontiac and the old Mustang battling it out in the old... Well, probably back in the 1960s, 70s on the racetrack. Many fights between General Motors and the Ford Motor Company. And still going to this day. And I'll just knock Dale Jr.'s car off. Whoops. Really nice case, not too bad condition, and made in the good old USA. That's what I love to see. Stuff made in the USA. And I've probably got 24 cars or whatever to fit in there at the moment, so they'll be filled up pretty quick. And last but not least, the loose cars what came with the case, which I purchased off the same seller. Got the old Space Eraser in enamel red. Pretty cool looking model in my opinion. It looks like a dog. Not bad at all. I don't think I had that in the collection. Got the Redline Plastic Base, Baja Bruiser, well, Chrome Plastic Base, and in the collection previously I have the Metal Base variation, I, so I do love my variations, so that was a must, and pretty cool looking model as well. 
Another one of my favourite models to collect, the Olds 442. Really, really nice car. Quite popular among us collectors. And you know, the ones from the Spectra Flame era are quite, well, quite pricey indeed. Some of them are around the thousands of dollars and that. And there is one I have seen on eBay which is around $1,500 Australian. So that's quite expensive indeed. But I think if anyone would have the money, they'd probably buy it. But I'd be happy to find an old beaten up version, to be honest. Really nice. This one replaces a little bit of a beaten up version in my, well, bit of a beaten up version I have in the collection so not too bad really close to mint condition really nice car indeed and I think 442 stands for four barrel carb four on the floor and I think twin exhaust I could be wrong I'm sure there's guys out there who know a lot more about the olds than I do and last but not least this beautiful little pink sand crab love it love the pink love the the flower design on it as well what some kid would have stuck on there or or his or her parent would have stuck on there probably back in the 70s and I do have one in the collection already she's she, her pink's a bit toned but still had to grab this one because the pink's more vibrant and really rich really beautiful pink I do love the pink and the spectra flame era it stands out quite a lot well that's pretty much it for this week ladies and gentlemen that's all what I've got to show thank you very much for tuning in each and every week everyone thank you to all the subscribers People who tune in, whether you, you're not subscribed to me at all and tune in, thank you very much. Really do appreciate you putting up with me, talking about my stuff each and every week. But very happy to share it with you all. And feel free to leave a comment, everyone. I don't mind replying to your comments at all. Even if you just want to say hi, that is fine with me. I don't mind reading them at all. Or even if you've got a question, I'm happy to answer it. Well, that's it for this week, everyone. Really hope you did enjoy. And remember, as always, everyone... Happy hunting. Keep the hobby strong. See you later, everyone. Have an awesome week.